Beryl is an unprecedented storm. None have formed as quickly or have intensified as fast in Atlantic hurricane history. And satellite pictures show it's not done yet. The hurricane has been upgraded to a Category 5 and it is the strongest recorded storm to form this early in the season in the Atlantic. Even by hurricane standards, Beryl is a brute. This was Karayaku, an island of Grenada, when the hurricane was a Category 4. It's now been upgraded to Category 5. 160 mile an hour winds and savage storm surges have left swathes of the Caribbean flattened and flooded. This is actually the strongest storm that we've had in my lifetime. So many people have lost their boats. There's nothing more we can do but, sit, but stand and watch total destruction. Our livelihood gone down the drain. To see storms on this scale is rare. In July, it's almost unheard of. If we look at every recorded Category 5 hurricane broken down month by month, we can see that September is the peak season because that's when the ocean is at its warmest. Now, Beryl on the 2nd of July is two weeks earlier than the previous earliest set in 2005. And here is a key reason why. This line shows the surface temperatures in the tropical area of the Atlantic, whilst the red line shows this year. It's already nearly as warm now as it is at the September peak. Barrel hit in the middle of the night and left nearly everyone on Union Island homeless. This is what's left of the tiny island, just nine square kilometers large, part of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Residents did what they could to survive, as homes were torn apart and windows broke around them. They said the pressure was so intense they could feel it in their ears. Hardly anything's been left standing. 90% of the houses have been severely damaged or destroyed. There's devastation in Grenada, too. Barrel made landfall Monday as a Category 4 hurricane. Thousands of people are without power and communication systems are down. It is almost Armageddon like, almost total damage or destruction of all buildings. Complete devastation and destruction of agriculture. Complete and total destruction of the natural environment. At one point, Beryl reached Category 5 status, with winds of at least 250 kilometers per hour. It's the first time a storm this powerful has hit so early in the season. Meteorologists say it's due to record-breaking heat in the North Atlantic, and scientists say that's all due to global warming. They're warning the season is on track to be much worse than usual. We begin with Hurricane Beryl, the strongest storm to hit parts of the Caribbean in decades. The system brought punishing winds and storm surge to Jamaica as it passed the island as a Category 4. Earlier in Grenada, multiple people were killed, and on some islands, nearly every home was damaged or destroyed. Meantime, state officials are urging Texans, especially Gulf Coast residents, to prepare for Beryl. The storm first battered the Caribbean, weakened to a tropical storm after slamming Mexico, and is likely to strengthen as it re-enters the Gulf and takes its path toward the Lone Star State. Fox 4's Sean Rabb in studio with more. Sean. Now, the state leaders say we have 48 hours to brace for Beryl along the Texas coast. But this storm, which hasn't necessarily behaved as experts thought, will trigger flooding deep into the heart of Texas. So they're ringing the warning bell to get your attention hopefully others as well folks not necessarily thinking about potentially dangerous weather right now cancun's pristine white sandy beaches plowed as beryl plants her foot in the yucatan peninsula when she bounces back into the gulf of mexico beaming towards the texas gulf coast with the promise of torrential rains 
that could be 12 to 15 inches in some areas. We don't know exactly sure yet where that may be. Whether it's heavy rain and flooding or if it's a hurricane category one, two, or worse, it would be here likely on Monday, and we'd start seeing the impact of that starting on Sunday. To keep your head up, Jesus is coming back, Jesus is coming back, no don't you give up.